Mm, doesn't that look so good? Okay, mommy, I'll do it. What? No, no, no. See? Whoa, Welcome back to the vlog. We're actually back from Portugal, but I don't know if my Portugal vlogs will all be up before this video, but if not, this is like in the future and then we'll play catch up. I am just getting ready for the day. I already like showered, blow dried my hair. Then we went for a walk this morning, went to the playground, got Sage's energy out for the day. She is so hyperactive in the morning and I feel like if we don't leave the house, uh, she just gets stir crazy and drives us all nuts. I am just doing some super simple, I say that, but I have like a bunch of products laid out in front of me, but I'm really fast at it. I am doing a super simple makeup look, just like every day. I'm doing it for the vlog. And I thought, why not make this my intro? I actually filmed a TikTok the other day, or I posted it the other day of me doing my makeup look and I like showed all the products and stuff. So if you guys wanna follow me on there, follow me here, I'll have a link down below. It was so rainy this morning and now it's blue skies and gorgeous out. Fall is my favorite time of the year. Like September is not only the best month of the year, like the weather is perfect. It's also my birthday, Matt's birthday. It's just like the season of coziness and warm colors and fashion. And I'm just like, this is my happy place. Shout out to all the Libras and Virgos. First off, today's video is sponsored by Ruggable, which I'm gonna show you later. Oh, we've done some updates to the house and it's looking really, really cute. One of them is actually in our room, but I'll show you after. And I'm really excited because we have been in this house for a few months now. Did I put enough on? I don't have a mirror in front of me. I feel like I should. This is blind makeup challenge. <laughs> okay, I need a mirror, hang on. Okay, I'm just gonna use like a palette. We've been here for, since the spring and you know what, basically have, we're, we're basically moved in. I just feel like it's the design stuff that really makes it feel like home for me anyways. I've been just doing final touches to the house. There's still like work that needs to be done, but it just, we've put artwork up on the walls and actually got some stuff to make it more like fallified, is that a word? Yesterday I went to a garden center and I got a ton of things for our front porch because I've been inspired by other people's front porches because like we live in the suburbs and I feel like it's a competition with your neighbors. I feel like if your grass looks bad and your neighbors all look good, you're like, oh, people are judging us. By the way, all my makeup is pretty much non-toxic now, which I'm really happy about. I feel like it's taken me a while to get to that place. <laughs> I will link uh, down below where you can find basically all the products that I use. I'm just gonna go into fast mode here while I finish getting ready because I'm really hungry so we can go eat lunch. I have like a bin in the garage of like all my fall stuff. I haven't even looked into it since we've moved houses so I don't really know what's in it. I wanna like organize it, sort through, and then just show you guys what I've been doing around the house and we'll all get into the season together. It's like a cozy fall decor slash decluttering kind of video. I love these types of videos, so hopefully you guys do too. This is probably the only like non, non-toxic thing that I use and it's just like eyelash primer so if you know a natural one leave a comment down below but it makes such a difference so i just i just do it for the good of the lashes by the way portugal was an amazing trip very emotional on so many levels and so grateful we decided to take the plunge and just go for it especially traveling with a toddler i also tend to be an anxious traveler especially when we're like far from home so it was like hard for me emotionally. Yeah, I'm just happy I pushed through my fears and did it and uh, we've just kind of been getting back to routine. So I feel like it's a perfect time of the year. September is like that back to routine time and because we've been gone, it's definitely been back to routine for us. That's my makeup look for the fall. I feel like the light isn't doing it that great, but all right, let's go figure out food. I have. No idea what's in the fridge. I actually have leftovers from dinner last night. I made this delicious like lemon herb chicken roast with sweet potatoes and a kale salad. I don't think there's any kale salad left, but mm. okay, I'm excited now for lunch. Let's go eat. 
I'm just heating up my roasted chicken in the pan and then I have another pan warming up because I'm just going to warm up one of these almond tortillas. I've been loving these ones. You warm it up for like 12 seconds on each side and I decided I'm going to do a little chicken wrap. I've been making wraps a lot for lunch. I find them just to be really easy. Even better when you can make leftovers into something new so you don't get bored. I'm just going to place the chicken on a cutting board. I hate when I do that. I had the temperature way too high. It's okay. Mm, I marinated this chicken. It makes such a difference. If you have not watched my recent meal prep hacks video, this is not the way to shred your chicken, but it's what I'm doing right now. This chicken is so good. I'm gonna try to make two wraps and if there's leftover chicken, I'll just eat it as is. I've been kind of changing up my meals or the way I eat a little bit and I've been really implementing it's not that it's like I'm going paleo by any means. I don't like to put myself into categories, but I've been really mindful about making my meals more balanced with like protein and healthy fats. And I mean, you may think by watching my channel that I already do that, but I'm just being more mindful. I feel like uh, I want to try balancing my blood sugar more. I When I get dips, I feel really lightheaded and dizzy. And lately by eating this way, which I can do a whole separate video about, I honestly find I've been less snacky. I can go longer between meals without feeling like ravenous, like I need to eat something again. I still snack, but not as intensely. So it's been balancing out my, my I don't know, hunger and blood sugar. Like I can feel it. Just, you know, thinking about the tortilla, I'm doing the almond tortilla and adding a nice source of protein in there and you know thinking about um, also not skipping lunch i feel like that's a really bad habit and sometimes i just get busy and i just like snack through lunch and i just need to eat a proper meal to feel satiated throughout the day and not get that like dizzy lightheaded feeling in the afternoon when i know i've just been snacking on like too many like processed carbs and stuff like that so i'm trying to like implement more complex carbs more protein and fats and all that good stuff. And then for toppings, I have some avocado mayonnaise, mustard, the rest of this guacamole I have to use up. And then I might even try putting some of the sauerkraut or have it on the side. I've been doing this wrap a lot with just like some organic sliced turkey breast meat and it's been really good. So today I thought I would do some roasted chicken. Bread the mayonnaise, a little mustard. It must be that back to school season. I'm just into the, the wraps. This would be a great back to school lunch. The idea of Sage even going to school makes me wanna cry. I'm like, she's not ready, she's too little. I can't believe it's like in two years she'll be in school. It's okay, I'm not gonna think about it yet. I'm not there. I'll just stress myself out. But every time I walk by a school, I'm like, it's gonna be Sage one day. This guac is a little questionable, but it was expensive, so I'm gonna use it. I think it's fine. It's just a little oxidated. Do we put the sauerkraut in the sandwich? By the way, this is, oh, I did not know. It's beet sauerkraut. Cabbage, beets, caraway. Mm, the caraway seeds are so good in it. I didn't know it had beet in it. I thought it was just red cabbage. Okay, let's, let's go crazy and put it inside. Fermented foods like kimchi, kefir, sauerkraut are so good for probiotics in your gut. So I've been trying to add more of it into my meals, especially now that it's like cold and flu season. Doesn't that look so good? Okay, now we are going to wrap it. All right, let's give it a taste test. <laughs> I'm ready for school. This is a great school lunch. The sauerkraut was a good addition. All right, so I haven't really shown the living room since we got the new couch, um, but what I'm really excited about is our rug. So this is one of the rugs from Ruggable. They are so family friendly, stain resistant, machine washable. Yes, you can put this in the machine and wash it. It's also non-slip and great for babies and pets because it's so easy to clean. It doesn't have like a high pile. It's very flat, you can get different uh, rug pads underneath. I have the, um, I forget the name of this one. It's like the thicker one. So it's nice and cushiony and it's so easy to vacuum up any crumbs. If anything spills on it, it just wipes right off or I can throw it in the wash. I also have been playing around with styling, keeping it really minimal because, you know, Sage is grabbing onto everything. These are both wood. 
I will link them down below. This isn't, but it's quite heavy and I don't think she would mean. I don't wanna jinx it. I don't think she'll lift that up, but I might switch the bowl with something else. I'm in love with this vintage design. It is so beautiful. I've been seeing this design and style in like so many interior magazines and Pinterest posts that I've been seeing. And I will say their ads are on point. Like they sold me on them before they even worked with me. I'm so in love with how this rug has just kind of pulled together our living room. I still wanna put some uh, artwork on the back there, some family photos, uh, so it's not completely done in here. This rug is so comfy. It makes us like use the room even more. I feel like I can get down on the ground, play with sage. It's functional, it's stylish, but I also don't have to worry about things spilling and having like fancy things with kids, you know what I mean? They have rugs for your entire home in all different sizes and shapes. And if you just go on the site, you're gonna fall in love like I have. I also have one in our bedroom upstairs, which I will show a little clip of. They were really easy to unbox and set up. We just moved all the furniture out of here so we could lay the rug pad where we wanted it. The corners just clip into the rug pad so it doesn't slip around. There's nothing more annoying than like getting a nice rug and it just like slips around the floor. Not only is it a trip hazard, but it's just so annoying to even vacuum. It's moving around all the time. We have one of those in our office and it's beautiful, but it's also really annoying and it's not one I would want in a high traffic area. Yeah, it was really easy to set up. You guys can shop my link down below. Use the code HEALTHNET10, get 10% off your order. You guys will love them. And I'm gonna link the two that I have in my home right now down below if you guys wanna get those exact same ones. We have some new things going on in the front entryway and it looks so stinking good. I even have a custom piece of artwork. It sounds fancier than it is, but it's really pretty. So let me, let's go get the bin and then I'll show you what the front looks like because it's really cute. That's the bin. I think we'll need two people. Let me. Yeah, probably need two. Let me put it on the camera. All right, let's see what's inside. Okay, this is a blanket Matt's mom knitted. We have a fall wreath. That's gonna be cute for outside. Some eucalyptus garland. <laughs> a runner. Bath stuff. Like this is like a bath rug. So ignore this, this is not done. This is kind of like the random room that we haven't styled yet. But I wanna unbox this. So this could actually work in the front for like the fall season. And I also wanna go through this and see like what I can donate and that's just like not vibing with me now, which might be this maroon bath mat. This I love, this is from, this is from, Target. And actually, I think we're gonna have Thanksgiving at our house this year. I might even be able to put this like at the end of a bed. I don't know, but it'll probably be for Thanksgiving. Okay, I feel like donate. I don't know about this pillow, it's maybe. <gasps> I forgot about these. These could work on the couch for like the fall. This eucalyptus garland, I've also used for the table setting before. I might be able to use like I have sprigs of it too. I feel like I've used this for many things. Even my baby shower, we used it for the table. Eucalyptus comes in handy. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here. Okay, this is like the fun stuff. This is the stuff that I feel like is gonna make the front look very festive. I'm so happy I didn't buy this stuff when I was at the greenhouse yesterday getting stuff for the front. They had like all this kind of faux fall stuff and I almost bought some and I thought, no, I'll wait, see what I actually need. Maybe I'll run to the store today, but like, I don't need to. I'm just gonna use what I have. I love this wreath and I just have to find the hanger to actually like put it up on the door, but isn't that so pretty? I wanna have the front all cute and decorated so we can do some family fall photos. Just like every time I leave the house and come back, I'll just be like, oh, I love fall. Ooh, carnucopia, what is this thing called? I always think of Hunger Games, but this is very Thanksgiving-y. Oh, <coughs> that's the smell. Okay, I got this candle. It is pumpkin spice. Yeah, pumpkin spice. Mm. I definitely don't burn fragrance candles, like, so toxic. 
but I don't even know if I want that in the house because I can just smell it and it smells like chemicals. <laughs> oh, this was from my Dorothy costume. This was my little basket. I forgot about all the stuff. Look how cute. I have these little ceramic pumpkins. I don't know if the green one is my vibe anymore. I like the, the white and cream. I got a pear. Oh, oh. another little pumpkin. <laughs> Who goes into Bed Bath & Body Works and actually is like, this smells so good without getting a headache? Comment down below. Do you, like, I cannot even walk by one of those stores because it's like instant chemical headache. I can't. I, and then to burn them in my house, no judgment. I just like, I'm so sensitive. I cannot. Oh, I have another white one. Okay, I think these will look cute in the front and actually go with the style that we're going for. Oh. Okay, this is one is not scented. A large orange candle. All right, then I have this stuff, which I think my one of my aunts gave to me one time. I think for the first Thanksgiving we hosted, she brought over this as like a housewarming because we had also just moved into that house. And I feel like I can probably put this somewhere, even if it's like in one of our plants. Okay, and then the rest of the stuff I have in here is like this cauldron for Halloween. We're not there yet, we're not there. <laughs> and then I have like a pumpkin carving set and some costumes. I've made a mess. There's definitely stuff here that I can donate and some stuff that I'm gonna use and fallify the health nut home. Thank goodness Sage is sleeping right now because this is a mess. All right, I wanted to show you the front entryway. I still have to take off that sticker there. This is not done and that's not staying there. We just want to see like what it looked like with a basket. But my girlfriend was over yesterday and she's helping me style things. And a lot of it is from like HomeSense and Beauclair. We're gonna do like another candle there, although I might be able to use the orange ones. And then over here, this is just like a jute rug that we have. And then we have this corner, <laughs> the mess. <laughs> Uh, we have this shoe rack, I think was from Wayfair. This is the, I'm so sad, it did fall yesterday when we were putting it up, so um, my friend's gonna repair it. But my friend actually made this. Isn't this so cool? And then her boyfriend, who is very handy, he's a contractor and basically can do anything and everything, framed it. And so it has this like beech wood look. And then we just styled it with a vase and some like faux pompous grass stuff and it fits this corner so well. And then this is actually a shoe rack. It's probably messy. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of shoes in there. And this is actually hiding a, a light switch that we don't use. So it's perfect. And I just love how it ties the whole space together. I'm going to put some fall stuff on here. And then we're also going to do the front because I have a whole bunch of mums and pumpkins that I bought. So let's figure out where this stuff's gonna go. Alright, and that's the after. Using what I got. I love the amber. I think that just adds such a nice touch. And if you're gonna do potpourri like this or dried stuff, make sure you go for the unscented. So this doesn't have any scent, but I still get the look of it. And this has actually lasted quite a while. I've had it for like three years. It's not gonna bother my nose because I am just too sensitive for the scented stuff. I didn't do anything else here. I think I wanna put some kind of plate or something here, but I'm just keeping it simple for now. For the wreath on the door, I ended up just using one of these 3M command hooks so I didn't have to worry about damaging the door. Let me show you how it looks. Look at how good that looks. So it's just right there. You can hardly notice it. So this is our first door that has like a window on it. So I thought this would be easier than one of those like over the door hangers. It looks nice and seamless because you don't have that like black rod hanging down. The next step is going to be to switch out these sad looking canna lilies. They did look really good over the summer but they are done and I bought a bunch of mums from the greenhouse that I'm going to change these up and then decorate with some pumpkins. I may end up getting more pumpkins closer to Halloween but I don't want to go too early because then they rot if it gets too warm. 
And then these are actually ornamental kale. So I thought that was very appropriate <laughs> and just to break up the colors. Okay, I'm literally so sad. It just fell off. <laughs> was it too heavy? Where's the, where's the hook? What happened? Why didn't you stay? Okay, I put it up. I don't know if I need to get one that is for heavier weight. This is three pounds. There's no way that wreath is more than three pounds. Damage free hanging holds strongly, removes cleanly. I even cleaned the window before I put it on. Do you have to let it wait? Oh, hold for three seconds. Oh, wait one hour before using. Oops, okay, didn't know that. Put that on later. <gasps> totally forgot about the orange candles, so I just added those there. I don't know, is it too much? Leave me a comment down below, any designers out there. I feel like it adds a nice pop of color. I'm sad to report. This fell down again. <sighs> I don't know what went wrong. I'm gonna have to get a bigger one so I can put it up. Let me know down below if you have any advice. All right, I got my helper. Ow, <laughs> she's pulling my hair. Sage just woke up from her nap. You gonna help mom? There you go. Got little pumpkins. Okay, over here, over here. Okay, I called in for backup to help sweep the dirt away. Huh? Huh? Yeah, right. Mommy does not let you have her phone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sage was having a bit of a big feeling, but she's helping now. Oh, you don't want those there? Drum set. So here is the final look. I stuck those branches there. I have the wreath up there. I know it's gonna fall, but at least you can see what it looks like. We are officially in fall season. This is gonna look so pretty once they all bloom. I am gonna give them a little bit of water, and then I think we're good. Okay, we're gonna make some uh, cookies. Let me get a bowl. Here, mom, mom's got one. Sage has been a little crazy, not gonna lie, but I'm gonna see if we can make some cookies together for us to have for snack time. Okay, what are we making? We're gonna make a recipe from the Baby Health Nut Cookbook, which is a digital cookbook that has all the recipes that I started feeding Sage from six months and up. It's great for toddlers. We are still cooking out of this book today. And fun fact, I'm working on number two. Sage, you're so loud. We are making the soft peanut butter coconut cookies. I'll get it going. Can you peel that and put that in there? We need one egg. We need peanut butter. I have peanut butter in here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> peanut butter, an egg. You want to put that in there and mash it? Shredded coconut. Organizing my pantry was the best thing I ever did. Just saying, if you have not watched that video, go, is it, which corner is it in? This one, that corner, I think. Okay, let's put the banana in there. And we're gonna mash it. Mash, 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 mash. You wanna do this part? Mash, 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 mash. Okay, I'll get another banana. I think that's, okay, you eat that one. Oh. You eat that one. Mommy's gonna mash this one. I usually mash with a fork, but the cutlery is where Sage is like up against, so. We just do it like this. This is a fun recipe. You can have your toddlers help you cook. You can swap the peanut butter for cashew butter, pumpkin, or sunflower seed butter, or even tahini if you want to make it uh, nut free. I would do the um, sunflower or tahini would work well. The banana is gonna naturally sweeten it without any added sugar. Okay, like this. No, one more time. Oh, that's good. Nice. Under one, they recommend no added uh, salt, um, but she is almost two, so I'm gonna add just a little pinch of sea salt, because I think it's gonna make it tasty. Just a little, a little bit of sea salt. And these are also dog friendly, so <laughs> Cashew's gonna be able to eat some of them too, because she's already like, she hears me saying the word cookie, and she's like, and peanut butter, those are her favorite things. I like that. 
mash this down. This peanut butter is a little hard. Okay, mommy, I'll do it. What? No, no, no. See? Oh. Big chunk wet in there. Okay. Sorry, I should have let you dump that. One, two, three. Good. Mom's gonna give it a good stir. Stir, stir. Okay, no, no, you, you stir that one. You stir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is what your batter should look like. It's a little kind of like a cloud. So I'm going to stick in the freezer just for like a few minutes to stiffen up while we prepare our baking sheet. I feel so accomplished today. The house feels like fall. The front is done. I downsized a bunch of clothes and donated stuff that I'm no longer wearing. This to me is like the new year, September. January, I'm always just like, ah, I'm not ready for this. And like by, by September, I am ready for a fresh start. It takes me like the whole year, at least half. These are ready to go into the oven. Just kind of flatten them down a little bit. You can sprinkle some coconut, uh, shredded coconut on top, but I'm just gonna bake them like this. Child luck. And here's my snack. I'm having these cheesy almond crackers with this um, lemon parsley and shallot cream cheese. It's from a local bakery and it's delicious. And these are really good too. They come in little snack packs. I got them for Sage, but I like them too. Forgot to mention, I also added some pillows here. We're watching the B movie. And she has yet to touch that, so we're doing good. Okay, let's get the cookies. They are done. So easy. We'll have some cookies with our movie. And we'll just let them cool the lazy mom way. <laughs> But that's when you know they're done, when they're just nice and golden on the bottom and they're still soft. These are great baby led weaning cookies because they're really soft. Spoke too soon. Cheers. Okay. Cheer okay, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. These are really good, like even for adults. Mmm. Add some chocolate chips. What? So it's just Sagey and I right now. Matt is at CrossFit. We're gonna watch a little bit of a movie while we have our snack. And then I usually, in the afternoons, I've been taking both the girls for a walk by myself. And it's been a really nice, um, just like new routine for the fall. Fall time is my favorite time to go for like nature walks and stuff. There's like less bugs, no mosquitoes. It's the perfect temperature, if you ask me. I want to say a huge thank you again to Ruggable for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use my code HEALTHNUT10 to save 10% off. I'm gonna have a link down below as well as the exact rugs that I have in my home right now. What's really cool too is that the designs are interchangeable so you can just swap out the top and keep the same rug pad and change out the design um, depending on the season or if you're switching them into a different room or something. Um, so I love them. I hope you guys check them out and we're gonna hang out together. Some mommy daughter time. Say bye. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm gonna give Cashew one too. Let's give Cashew a cookie. A cookie? Sit. Okay, Sage, say paw. Well. Paw. Good, yeah, go, say paw. Okay, look, there you go, okay? Now we give her her treat. There you go, good girl. She's a good girl. <laughs> oh. Okay, bye guys, see you in the next video. She's like, uh, more? Okay, one, two, three. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>